It's the 7th of March today and I'm down on the allotment. I'm still having a good old sort out. I'm not going to show you that because that's boring really um, basically but um, what I am going to show you today are how my um, Lancer broccoli, sprouting broccoli are getting on. Um, I did do a video uh, a little while ago cooking it um, but because when I came up here before there was no sign of it growing I didn't bring the camera up with me um, so I couldn't actually film harvesting it and then cooking it so I'm doing it the other way round um, you can see the Lancer broccoli behind me um, I sowed this in I think it was about March April time last year um, you need to make sure that like with um, any spring sprouting broccoli it you've got to give it space okay it's a it's it takes a long time to grow but once it's um, it's producing then it really really rewards you um, so you won't start harvesting it until like the January of the following year so it takes a good nine months plus um, to to grow to its full potential so just be aware of that when you are um, sowing it it's not one of the things that you'll be harvesting that summer it is the following um, the follow early the following year but it's lovely when it comes uh, and you start to harvest it because you know that spring is on its way um, and uh, soon you'll be sowing all sorts of other new seeds so um, I'll give you a closer look at it and I'll show you how to harvest it now it comes in two colours, there's the purple here and then over here is the um, sort of, it's a light yellow sort of colour. Um, the reason the leaves have been uh, picked off, because I didn't think um, anything was going to happen with it because it was so slow, so I uncovered it but the pigeons seem to have um, had a go at, uh, at a lot of the leaves and have taken some of the broccoli but I've got so much here um, it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's those, they come in two colours in the same packet so let me show you how to harvest them. Now it's really very easy to harvest, all you need is either um, a pair of secateurs or a nice sharp knife and all you do is you just, you find the stem um, and then you just cut it off like that. Sometimes they're a bit longer, make sure that you look down um, because uh, sometimes you find that they, they hide deep down. Um, some of them will vary in size, sometimes you'll find big ones, sometimes you'll have small ones. In fact, if they are quite tiny like the ones I've got, you can actually just pull them off, just snip them off. Now you want to make sure that you don't just take the head off, you take a few leaves as well with it. So um, I'll carry on and when I've got a nice bunch, then I'll show you. Well, I've got a nice um, box full here. Um, sprouting broccoli is one of those things that the more that you harvest it will just keep coming so um, keep harvesting it and then you'll keep getting new sprouts obviously when the plant sort of comes to the end of its life in sort of May, uh, March, April time um, then it will just stop producing um, and then just um, pull up the stems and stick them on the compost heap or what I will do is I'll, uh, I'll give them to the chickens because they'll, they'll thoroughly enjoy them um, so um, yes, that's enough for us four for tea tonight, uh, as the vegetable with our with our um, our meat. So um, so that will be lovely. And what I'll do with these is I'll do it the same way that I did it in the recipe before, um, and uh, that is to um, blanch it briefly and then sauté it in some um, finely chopped up onions and some garlic as well. But you're you know you're welcome to do whatever you want with it. But um, yes. So that's uh, some of my Lancer sprouting broccoli. Right, well the only other thing I've done this morning is, um, is to just have a good old clear out. I'm breaking down um, some of the old uh, compost bins. Um, I, I used wooden um, sort of slats to sort of make them and as you lift them up the bottoms have now gone rotten so <laughs> they're all coming apart which actually makes it easier to fit in the car to be honest with you um, so um, nothing interesting I was hoping maybe in the one that I've just taken down the compost heap to find um, 
because uh, there were bumblebees living in there to hopefully find um, some evidence that they were there but um, there doesn't seem to be any maybe there was and as the winter's gone on it's all biodegraded I don't know um, but um, so it's it's just those uh, lancer broccoli that I've harvested today uh, um, and some very small cabbages um, and also um, some very tiny little brassicas which I'm going to give to the chickens um, and they can uh, they can eat those um, so um, I'm going to go home now actually I'm going to go to the tip first because the car is full up um, with a load of stuff that needs to be recycled um, but if you want to know how to um, how to cook the Lancer broccoli, I will attach um, the, uh, the video to the bottom or the link to the video so that you can click on it. Well, I hope you found that interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.